If there's one thing a cowboy's got to be, it's tough. Whether it's on your horse or in the cattle business, you have to expect the unexpected. Ready? Be prepared for the worst and hope for the best. Catch it. There's a thousand different ways to die out here. No, roll over, roll over. Your whole plan can change in the blink of an eye. Everything's already booked for the deal, and now it's not going to happen. If you're not ready for that, you ain't ready to cowboy. We don't do it for the paycheck. Who waits till the last minute to change the price? Who does that? What kind of man does that? Of course, a paycheck doesn't hurt. Cowboy is called to be a cowboy. Come on in there, cow. It's our passion. It's our livelihood. It's what we love to do. This life is about building a legacy, pass down to future generations. But this business is about expansion, always looking out for ways to be bigger, better, better, the best. We take big risks and hope for big rewards. We're looking to strike gold. Whoop and ride, boys. Whoop and ride. Whoop and ride. Hey, how y'all guys doing? Hey, Mr. Don, how are you? Hey, Mr. Don. Good to see you. Good to see you, fella. Got a bull I need y'all to catch for me. All right. That's why we're here, man. I am done with cows. Once the spring gets here, I'm selling the rest of them. I'm ready to retire and, get, yeah. and do something else. I've had this bull since he was a yearling. I've raised him the whole time, and you know, you just can't do nothing with him. We bring him up here and pin him in them pens right there? No, he won't stay in them pens. I've had him in there twice. He has tore them pens all to pieces. I can get him in there, but he won't stay. Today, we're going to meet up with a good friend of ours, Mr. Donald. He's a local farmer. He's got some cattle, and he's wanting to get out of the business. I mean, he's ready to retire, go vacation. I mean, he's ready to get out of the cattle business. And he's got one bull that every time he pins him, jumps out, tears out, whatever it is. He can get him pinned. He just can't keep him pinned. He needs us to come catch him. He'll run on you now. He's, he's an athletic bull. He'll, he'll go, so you're going to have to spur your pony to catch him. Well, maybe we need to down there and get him rope and see how quick that'll go. Are you yep. gonna stay up here, Mr. Donald? Yeah, I, you can signal me. I can, you know, do whatever you want me Bring to do. Bring some truck or something. All right. I really don't want to get wet and muddy today. Let's just ease around and see what happens. Okay. Do it. Spin the bunch up in that corner, guys. Spin the jump fence. fence. Not... Dang it. Watch it. Gosh, almighty dang. Guys, he's fixing to get down there in the woods. We're going to have a hard time now. This bull thinks he owns this place. I mean, he just pretty much steps over the fence and then just hangs out like, what you going to do about it? Is there Watch a way it. to get around down there, Booger? Come on, Is there a gate, gate back, back there? down this way. Let's try to go this way. We don't know this property. This is a new place to us. We've never been here before. And when that bull jumped that fence, we could tell that there was another pasture behind here and a big old branch, a bunch of woods, and then a big old swamp. That's not where we want that bull to go. Because if he goes in there, he might not come out. He's in them woods right there, fellas, right there by that pond. I'm gonna go in there and see if I can get him snorted out. I'm gonna get on this other side in case he comes out over here. All right. All right. You know, it took us a minute to get over here, but the bull's already in the woods. We really don't know whose pasture this is, but we know we've got to get this bull out of there. And that's probably going to take a while. Which way? <laughs> hey, boo! Ha! 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 Hey, boo! Hey, boo! Hey! Ha! Ah. Woo! I got him bait right here! Hey, boo! Hey! Hey! God dang it. He's balled up in here. He's fighting. We might have to come back and catch this bull later on. He ain't coming out in the woods. When I get in there and see this bull, there's a little creek that separates us. But this bull won't cross this creek. At this point, it is obvious that bull's not coming out of the swamp. He's hot, he's aggravated, he wants to stay put. He's done whipped every dog here, and dang near whipped us along with him. This bull's a lot smarter than we're giving him credit for. <whistles> that bull's in them woods, I'm telling you, there's a thicket behind him. Them dogs cannot get to him. And he's just got his back to it, and he can fight them dogs on two angles right here. The problem is the all the other stuff we need to be doing right now instead of fighting with this dang old bull all day. Yep, we've already been out here for half the day already. It's gonna turn into an all-day adventure. If y'all wanna kinda of bump them cows maybe a little bit closer to that head, I'll get in there on horseback, give him a different look. I don't know, a different look might make him just, I don't know. All I say is get this son of a gun caught. Because right. we keep messing around, worry about the bog holes and everything else, we won't ever get him caught. Right now, this bull's mad. 
He ain't moving. He ain't moving for me, the dogs, the good Lord himself. You know, I've been in there on foot. We've had dogs in there. He hadn't seen me in there on horseback yet. So riding there horseback, maybe I can just ease him on out. I mean, you don't ever know till you try. Everything else we've tried hadn't worked. Hey, boo! Hey, boo! Ha, ha! Here he comes. Hey, boo! Keep him coming, hey. keep him coming. Ah. Hey, tell him, boy. Hey, bust him out, bust him out. This bull's in there for somebody else's cows, and we don't know whose cows these are. We've already got one rancher ready to get rid of this bull. We don't want another rancher to show up and get mad. Best thing for us to do, hurry up, get him out, get him caught, and get him gone. Boy. Get back, dog. You reckon we'll be all right if I bring my truck and trailer down here on this terrace? If we can get him loaded right here, let's just load him. We've already wasted half a day on catching this bull, and now that we've got him caught in two pastures over, I'm pretty sure we can get a truck in there and get him loaded. Here you go. Mr. Don, you mind running that rope through for Booger? Got it. Hold you got no slack, Booger? Take. Bring him up, son. Now, hop out that trailer, man. I'm telling you, Mr. Donald was that close to getting his rear end handed to him. This ain't horse shooting hand grenades. This ain't a game of chance. If that bull gets you down and gets you stomped, you're liable to be hurting for a while. Mr. Donald, you all right? Yeah. I can still move a little bit. He's down, pulling his leg as hard as fast as I could, too. <laughs> Hold him tight, boys. I'm just glad Mr. Donald's safe. You know, it could have ended in a bad deal, but Cody did his job on the back back there, keeping that bull off of Donald. But it was a close call. I'm going to hold him right here, Booger. There, there you go. go. Shut the door, 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 get the door, get the door. Hold him there. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> There wasn't no having to run a rope through nothing. When we opened the trailer doors, that sucker jumped in there. I'm here to tell you, he was ready. His chariot awaited, and he was ready to catch a ride. I'm glad oh. you got boys are young enough to do this. I'm too <laughs> old. I can't do that stuff no more. We don't feel young right now, I can promise you that. Hey. I'm still fast <laughs> enough to get out of the way of that yes, bull. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness that bull about got you. <laughs> he about got you. Anyway. Oh, All right, I'm headed to the sale barn. Mr. Donald, won't you take my truck up there, and we'll, uh, we'll swap them over to your trailer. Sounds good. I'll see y'all up there. All right, All right, buddy. Thank you. Well, shoot. You know, there comes a time when you get too busy, you can't be doing stuff like this. Heck, I love catching wild cattle. But it don't pay enough to get one of these horses hurt, some of these dogs hurt, and taken away from what else we got going on. Yep. You are right about that. My granddaddy always told me, work smarter and not harder. And it's taken a long time for that to really sink in. But running around chasing bulls for a small amount of money, it just ain't cutting it right now. Make more money and work less. Make money with our money. That's right. We got to start focusing on deals like that. Only thing that's tough about that is when you're investing the money you're making, you got to have some side money coming in and catching these cattle is our side money. We need to figure out a way to make it where we can do this just because we want to, not because we have to. I've got plenty to be doing right now. Mom wants me to come over and help her unpack some boxes. Mm. Grandma, she's moving in from my aunt's house, start staying with my parents a little bit more and some, taking some of her stuff over there. And, Boy, uh, I bet your daddy's going to like that. Yeah, All that cooking Miss Betty Joe's going to do, huh? And maybe I can hire Grandma to hit me with the rodeo. I need to be working on it. I can have her out selling sponsorship ads and such. She was sending them letters. That's her style. That rodeo means a lot to me. That's a big deal. That is a huge financial blessing for my wife and I. This is a busy time of year for me. It's rodeo season. It's time for one of my annual rodeos I've been doing for six years. And I have a lot of planning and logistical work to do. Now, I want to make this thing bigger and better every year. You guys sound like y'all real busy. Mm -hmm. I got a free afternoon, so I'll just haul him up there to the sale barn. I sure appreciate that. That'll work. That'll Let's go work. get after it. Get it. Oh. Is this all grandma stuff? Most of it is. We're just trying to make room so she'll have a nice bedroom in there. So it was stored stuff. Where's grandma at? She's laying down. She don't feel real good. 
but it may be better that she's not in here with us going through all of our stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You better get rid of it while she's asleep because she won't let you get rid of it when she wakes up. Grandma's getting where she wants to start living with my parents a little bit more, and my mother doesn't get rid of anything, and my grandmother really doesn't like to either. So therefore, they want to get rid of the old stuff she don't need and don't use anymore. Matthew, are these antlers? We have several of these. Yes. Do you know the old air purifier. Look at this thing. That you would may not get clean sick the air. one day. That would make the air dirty. <laughs> For real. We're getting rid of it. Put it in the get rid of I'm putting it right here. Yeah, here. Oh, Grandma's cookbook. That's the one she made for your dad. Now we're getting in the good stuff. You know, as I go through this stuff, I can't help but remember it being in my grandparents' home. I used to walk by it every day and never thought that I'd really be sitting down in Hanlink. It's hard to think how times change. Oh, what wow. Uh, oh, look at here. That's some old ones. Booger dancing, baby goats, driving cattle. Mmm, cattle drive. If we can find a VHS machine, we can watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there's one in here. <laughs> we might have to watch yeah. that. I know. I'll hold that out. See watch. what else is in. Ledger. Yeah, that's his cow ledger, I believe. Yeah, right, right there. there. Arcadia Livestock Market. May the 28th, 1965. Wow. He sold uh, 298 head of calves at 17 cents a pound. Gee. <laughs> Comes out to like $14,000. Back then, that was a lot of money. That'd be well over a $100,000 deal now. This ledger just goes to show that he was making deals back then, just like I'm making deals today. Look what we got down here. I like those. Uh-oh, what have a you found down there, toy. Matthew? Oh, no. Uh-oh. That's probably Papa's old hat. Yeah. Yep, it says Dress Stetson. Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. Look at there. Daddy, can I try it on? Sure. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. That just really Easy. fits your head. <laughs> Look at that. It looks good. You're like J.R. Ewing. <laughs> <laughs> How old was I, Daddy, when I started going working cows in the woods? No, uh, you may have been about four. About Matthew's age. <laughs> oh, four See? years old. What was your horse's name? I had old Pug. Pug! <laughs> Come here, bud. I think you need to start going with me to work cows. Yes, sir. I thought just coming over here would be kind of aggravating, go through all these old boxes and stuff, but I sure am glad I did, because there's a lot of great memories in these old boxes. This is my history, and this is my family, and this is what I was raised on, and I want Matthew to cherish it just as much as I do. Tomorrow, I'll try not to get all my work done. That way, when I pick you up from school, we, me and you can go do it together. You bet. <laughs> Coming up. Hey, Daddy, where's the bull? I don't know, bud. You think you're big enough to ride Trigger around in the pasture with me? Yes, sir, I'm ready. You don't want him. Serious? No. Well, he say he was going to give us a check? He, I mean, he hired y'all. He sent me here to rep these cows. I don't know. That's just where we are. I hate if y'all do any more free work. Loving on you. Oh, can you give it kisses? Andy. <gasps> There's Daddy. Hey, big girl. <laughs> you playing with the puppies? You're in love. Be careful. Huh? Got it? You like the puppies? I just can't believe how big she's getting. I know. The past few months have been great for our family. Andy has went from a cute little baby to a little girl. As she gets older, she really is starting to show her true colors, and she absolutely loves animals. She gets that from her daddy, but these little puppies are rocking her world right now. Work's really been taking a toll on us. The other day, we had to go catch a bull for a man down south of town, and it should have been a quick and easy job, but it just, it just took way too long. Yeah. <laughs> we sacrificed a lot of time for a little bit of money, and we got to figure something out. So what, it, what are you saying? I'm, what I'm saying is, is that I think there's some changes that need to be made to figure out something else for us to do in the company. The small jobs, you know, you know, they're great to have, <laughs> and they keep the lights on at the house, but we need to do more. What are you thinking? Well, that deal we did with Brett Dalrymple, you know, several months back, that was a good deal to do. I mean, we partnered up with him on the cattle. And, 
we didn't get a paycheck for several months, but at right. the same time, when we got a paycheck, it was worth the time and the effort that we put into the cattle. You know, we made a big deal with Mr. Brett Dalrymple last year, and it turned out really well for us. We partnered with him on some cattle, we worked pretty hard, and we got a big paycheck at the end. Days like today, chasing this bull around all over the place probably isn't the smartest thing to be doing. We need to start focusing on something else that we can do to make money for ourselves and our company and our families that's a little bit less labor intensive. Me and Cody and Booger, we gotta sit down and kinda talk this thing over. Not saying we wanna quit being cowboys, cause that's in our blood and that's not gonna happen, but right. we gotta, we're all getting older, we got families, and we need to start using our heads a little bit more. I'm so, sure you're gonna figure it out. I hate when Bubba has days like this because it doesn't make him coming home to us very much fun. And the fact that Bubba is expressing that he wants to get away from the day labor jobs and take on something bigger and better, I am all for it. He's getting older. I don't want him out there risking his health on a daily basis. What, well, you wanna go in and start getting ready for supper? Absolutely. <laughs> it's been a long day and you know I'm always hungry. Me too. Give our child a bath. I'm sure she smells like dog at this point. Well, you know she's fixing to pitch a fit because she wants to yeah. stay here with these puppies. We might have to bring one inside, Daddy. Okay. She loves them. You can't tell her no. We might have to keep one. I'm not keeping another dog. <laughs> We've got three dogs already. You ready, Come on, Andy. Andy. Let's go inside. <laughs> Where are we going today? Got some work to do, bud. Oh. Just me and you. I get to pick Matthew up from school today, and I'm gonna take him to do some cowboy stuff. I promised Matthew that we could go out and do the same stuff that me and my granddaddy used to do when I was Matthew's age. We're gonna go home and get changed, put out some mineral for the cattle. My hat look okay? Yeah, your hat looks good. Come on. You look like a cowboy. We gotta go put mineral out. Check on these brammer heifers. Yes, sir. You know, me and my papa used to go and put out mineral. Yes, sir, I might. All right, buddy, let's get out. Come on, girls. Dad, what is that? It's mineral. Why? Cut. You gotta give it to them cows. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Babies, come on. Come get you some mineral. Come on, we got cow feed. Guess what? My papa used to dare me to eat some mineral. What? You wanna try them? Uh-uh. Hmm? Did you swallow it? Just tasted it. You want to put some on your tongue? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, look at here. Here's pure, this right here is pure salt. Want to try some of that? Mm-mm. They don't eat cow stuff. Sometimes you do. That's salt, like just like the same salt that we got in the house. Salt, salt. Oh, get that big block over there. Get that big one. Okay, I'm going to try to break it. I'm going to try to break this big block. Lick it, go, let's go. Like a cow. That good? Yes. <laughs> How good is it on a scale of one to 10? 81. Oh my goodness, that must be delicious. Come on girls, better come get some of this. Matthew's gonna eat it all. Matthew really don't like the mineral, but he sure is taking a liking to the salt. It seems to be his new favorite thing. Wait till his mama finds out I was feeding him cow salt. I remember the first time I tried a pinch of mineral. I never forgot it. This is times like now, and Matthew probably won't forget it either. Hey, Daddy, where's the bull? I don't know, bud. Come think of it, I didn't see him yesterday either. He might be in them big oak trees on the other side of them woods over there, but I don't know if we can get all the way over on the truck. It's so muddy. I know it. I might have to go get the horses. <sighs> One little job of putting out minerals is going to turn into a big job, ain't it? Mm-hmm. You think you're big enough to ride Trigger around in the pasture with me? Yes, sir. I'm ready. All right. Coming up. Give it to me, darling. No. Give it to me. Get down in your shell like a turtle. Being married 
married to Cody Harris is never dull. My husband gets a lot of ideas. Some are a little crazy. I've seen them things online, and I was thinking of something new, kind of, we can do at the rodeo this year. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing on the internet all kind of different videos of people getting in them, like out west of different rodeos, and when the bull hits it, it just launches them. This looks like a hamster ball. I know. Isn't it cool? Here, hold, hold my hat. Let me try to get in there, please. You're gonna get in? Yeah, I'm gonna get in. You know, this idea would make for some good entertainment at the rodeo, but I don't think we have a good enough waiver to cover these people being hit by the bull. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah? Is that yeah. right? That is so cool. <laughs> At another event I put on Bulls on the Beach, we do what's called Money the Hard Way. We tape a coin to the bull's forehead. And if you want it, go get it. So I'm going to do something unique just like that at my rodeo. And what I plan to do at my rodeo this year is I want to get people to get in them. Same concept of money the hard way. Turn the bull loose and just watch, be like a big giant kickball. Just the bull hit, bing, bing, bing. That'd be great. Get ready, get set, go. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this is fun. I could do this all day, just find stuff to run into. I mean, you, you, don't, you can't feel it. When you hit it, it bounces you off, you roll around, get back up, go again. I mean, you literally don't feel nothing. I can feel the bubble like go in, and then it's the fun part coming. Whew, that is no joke. That is freaking cool. Hop on an excavator. All right, see that oak tree standing still. And bulls or whatever we do decide to do with it won't be standing still. You know what I'm screaming? Mm hmm All right, crank her up. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not going full force. Give it to me, darling. No. Give it to me. Get down in your shell like a turtle. Well, I would never do nothing that would get somebody hurt. So I want to test these bubbles out. Just see how much pressure, just how much blunt force these suckers can take. America! Cody gets hit, he's like so giddy. He's like back to being in kindergarten and got his favorite toy or something. I mean, he is beside himself having a ball. Who knew? Since I did you a favor, push you around on this thing. That was fun. Will you do me a favor? What you need? Can you watch Carter tomorrow? Well, of course, I mean, but, I mean, what you got? I wanna go ride my mare. Well, if you wait a little while, I'll go ride with you. I want to tinker with her and take my time. I haven't done that in a while. I appreciate that Cody wants to go riding with me, but I feel like this is kind of something I need to do. And I really want to just take this opportunity and just have some bonding time with her. I have to be able to teach her things. She's got to be able to teach me things. And I think the way to do that is just for me and her to spend some time together. Deal if you'll hop back in that excavator and hit me again but full force. If something happens to you, this was your idea. Something happens, I got plenty of this life This your insurance. idea. Ready? Whoop 
Whoopin' ride, whoopin' ride. Are you looking for the bull, or am I the only one doing all the work? Daddy, I'm looking for him. Okay. Old Big Bull, he's kind of lazy. So he likes to stay off in the woods where it's nice and cool. But the fact is, I hadn't seen this bull in the last couple days. I need to go look for him and make sure he's all right. Me and Matthew's really going to get out and ride the property. You know, riding horses together is one of my greatest memories with my dad and my granddaddy. I'm just happy I'm getting to do it with Matthew now. You all right, buddy? Yes, sir. I see, I see a bull, I see a bull. Well, there he is right there, buddy. He just walked up right over here. I was worried he might have tore out and went to the neighbors. Yes, sir. He was down here cooling it in the shade, wasn't he? Yes, sir. Well, what do you say we do with him now? You wanna just leave him here in the shade? Well, yes. We don't saddle these horses up for no reason. He's nice and cool, we don't need to mess with him. No. Papa always said, the bull's in the shade, we probably need to be there too. Yes, sir. Matthew's really taken to living on the ranch with us. The fact that a little boy is paying that close attention, that means something to me. That means that one day, he'll have enough initiative and enough sense to be a cowboy, and he'll know when things ain't right. Daddy, your horse. Let go, let go, let go. <laughs> Matthew's hat flies off. We get down to get it, and there goes our horses. You know, the horses taking off like this, that's really got Matthew shaking up. It's time for a little lesson in cowboying. You gotta pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and get back on again. Hey, it's okay, you're not be scared of them. Are we gonna get back to the house? Listen, you can get on my back and ride me. <laughs> you gonna ride me? <coughs> Are you going to stand up and do it? Come on. Are you supposed to? Come on, get on my back. <laughs> I can't get on. <laughs> How's that? Better. Coming up. Where I come from, when you shake a man's hand, when you make an agreement, that's all there is to it. This is a cutthroat business. And I mean, I just never thought it would happen to me. But you know, it's happening. Just bring the black one. Okay. I got you bring the Today we've been hired by a local man that's buying some cattle in her second trimester from the seller. The deal's being handled by a good friend of ours, Brent, that's a cattle broker. He's here today to make sure everything runs smoothly. The buyer hired us to come in and see how far along the cows are bred. He wanted to buy the cattle in the second trimester and no open cow. Nobody wants an open cow. She ain't gonna make money for at least another year. Six months. Going in there, cow. Bubba calls for heavy bread. Heavy bread. Generally, you can take a man's word for it, and if he says they're shortbread or heavy bread, that's what it is. But since the buyer doesn't really know the seller, he's hired us to go double check these cattle. Eight months. Six months. Six months. Eight months. Put her on the truck. Growing through these cattle, and we was told they was going to be around four to five, maybe even six months bred. They're all like in their third trimester if they haven't already had a baby calf. These cattle are way further along with their pregnancy than what we understood to start with. Brent is the cattle broker here. We're just a hired help. So Brent tells us he's got to call the seller, and they've got to talk this over, because things have all of a sudden changed. No, oh, there wasn't nothing that hardly in the second trimester. Everything's in the third. We missed it a couple months. All right, I'll, I'll let them know, 100 ahead more. Hey, guys, we got a problem. What's the problem? He traded, a, he sold the cows to be in their second trimester. And Boone Booger was spraying them all, up, nearly all of them were in their third. No. So he's gone up 100 ahead. He on wants them. another $100 ahead? Yeah. Well, he says they're worth 100. He, he said he traded for them in the second trimester and they're in the third. Well, that's his fault. Yeah, he done priced them too. Mean, yeah, he traded already. Hey, he, well, he hired a vet to, to check them. He priced the cattle in the second trimester. Well, I'm here to tell you, these cattle are heavy bred. It's not hard to figure out when a calf reaches in there and he bites you on the thumb. I gotta make another phone call and just make sure these things are gonna stick with 100 more head on them. 
This is really not a good situation, and I would not want to be Brent in it. Right now, you have the seller of the cattle wanting to go up on the cattle $100 a head because they are heavier bred than he thought. I feel terrible for Brent because he's stuck in the middle trying to make this deal happen. I'll let him know. Yes, sir, thank you. He don't want them anymore. He don't want them. Serious? No. Yeah. All this for nothing? All for nothing. Would he say he was gonna give us a check? He, I mean, he hired y'all. He sent me here to rep these cows. I don't know. You might make that phone call. All right. I hate the whole deal having like it did, but that's just where we are. I hate it for y'all to do any more free work. Well, let's get this mess picked up and get out of here. All right. Might as well start picking up some of this stuff. I hate it, guys. All yeah. right, buddy. Take it easy. Let us know. Hey, good. All right, Brent, see you, man. Up, buddy. Like, the buyer don't want to buy them. You know, I really don't blame the man. They made an agreement. Just don't start trying to climb on a fella just because you got him backed up against the wall. Who waits till the last minute to change the price? Who does that? What kind of man does that? You ain't supposed to change the daggone price. If it was my cows and you come up to me and done just what just got done and my cows were heavier bred, I'd have stood by my word and sold them. The problem with folks these days is they don't stay by the word. Tell you right now, he's still getting a bill for us working these cows over. Dang right. He ain't getting, he ain't getting out of that deal. That's gonna be the tricky part. He's got he, to. They don't matter. I don't care. He's going to Let me tell cover. you something. You take your truck to the mechanic shop and get it fixed. At the end of the day, you don't have the money to pay it. What do you do? They keep your truck till you pay the bill. Just let me talk to him and see what we can get worked out. Man, a man hired us to do a job. We did our job. The way I see it, we need to get paid. Well, I reckon let's get these cows off. We did all that for nothing. You mind pulling up a little bit? I'll get them. We're fitting to watch a day's work come off a trailer. The deal was, I finished the stalls, I don't have to clean them. I like cleaning After stalls. You. So I will do it. After you. Hey, my big man, back up, buddy. Mm -hmm. So I gotta take this. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Do what? I'm afraid I, I don't, um, Hang on a second. Say every bit of that one more time so I can make sure I got you straight. You know them dreams when somebody's chasing you and you're trying to run and you can't and like you're trying to wake up because you don't want them to catch you and know what's about to happen? That's what this feels like. I, I, I'm trying to pinch myself, can't wake up. I mean, it's really a, a bad feeling. <sighs> I've already hired contract acts, clowns, announcers, judges, secretaries, you name it, I, everything's already booked for the deal, and now it's not gonna happen? Oh. We'll have somebody else do it. This is a cutthroat business. This, that's the way this business is, and I, it never really resonated with me because I've always had such positive feedback for this rodeo. And I mean, I just never thought it would happen to me. But you know, it's happening. There's nothing I can do to stop it. It's just, <laughs> it's crazy. Where I come from, when you shake a man's hand, when you make an agreement, that's all there is to it. I tell you what you can do. If y'all can live with it and sleep with it and look yourself in the mirror with it, I'll be able to do the same. Yep. Did you just slam the door? Well, that rodeo we've had for six years. Yeah. We don't have it no more. Define we don't have it anymore. They're going with another contractor. I, I don't even know what to tell you. I don't um, know. I, I, I'm mad. I was mad on the phone, but now it's kind of, I'm numb. Didn't you already book everything? Yes. Everybody's hired. Everybody. All the sponsors, all the vendors, everything. After being at this event for so long and it being successful every year and Cody adding a different element to it every single year and the committee telling us that they're happy, this is a huge shock that it was just literally ripped out from under us. We worked so hard on that rodeo. 
to get it where it's a well old machine. Now I got to call them people and go back on my word because somebody gave me their word and didn't keep it. I'm sorry. Should not have to be this aggravated. I mean, it's kind of like finally getting finished with this barn and then say, let's go, oh, oh, give it to somebody and then let's go right over here and build another one. You know what I mean? Might be the only option, though. Well, I'm having a hard time swallowing this, so I'm gonna go chew on it for a little while. Coming up. The guy that was fixing to make the most money wasn't even doing any of the work. We was in there doing the main work. You know, we're always looking for a new adventure with our company. I think we just need to start trading cattle more. Hot. Bay horse wore out, son. And nobody ain't this hot this late in the year. Boogie man, what's happening? Well, I'm glad that's over. Don't you come unsaddle this horse for me? Let me get in that AC. I ain't even running in the AC. Mm -hmm. Somebody had to go get the checks for us. Mm -hmm. You got Did the you checks? Get them? Yeah, I got the checks right here. You know, the other day we had a deal go south that we might not get paid for. I just lost the annual rodeo that was a big part of my annual income. You know, I had somewhere I needed to go with that money. So, when Booger shows up and he's got three checks to give us, you know, it still doesn't justify us spending a whole day doing what we've done and being a part of this shady deal. But you know what, at least the buyer was decent enough to fairly compensate us. Well, that'll oh, work they, right there. What'd they say? Well, they're pretty upset. Things got kind of heated there for a minute. You ain't kidding. So I told them, I said, hey, it ain't nothing to do with us, we just need a check for working cattle. There was too many people with their hands in this cookie jar. Yeah, well, I'm tired of that. You know, I noticed something today. The guy that was fixing to make the most money wasn't even doing any of the work. We was in there doing the main work. You know, if that had been our deal, the guy would have known what was going on. That was too shady. That's the problem with post trading cattle. 90% of them are too shady. If we had been handling it, it'd have been us and the buyer. I agree. And we'd all been upfront and honest about everything. Buyer talks to us, seller talks to us. Buyer and seller don't talk to each other. They right. talk to us. You know, we're always looking for a new adventure with our company. I made a dang good money up trading in Brammer cattle last year. I think we just need to start trading cattle more. Yeah, we all we all do it on our own. We ought to, we ought to get together and do it with the company. That's we throw, right. We all throw in a dollar, that's three, huh? A cowboy is somebody who saddles his horse up every morning, goes out into the pasture, and he's interested in that $150 paycheck every day. But a cattleman, he's looking out there in the future, what's gonna happen with the market. He's making sure everything's lined up, all of his cattle are tended to. He's making plans to expand his business. It's time for us to become more cattlemen. Cattlemen, that's where the money's at. Look, only thing, only downside I see to it is if we're gone a bunch. Like Bubba finds a set of heifers in North Mississippi. I, I don't really care to sell a set of cows if I can't lay his eyes on them. Mm -hmm. Or have somebody up there we trust to rep, so we might spend yeah. a lot of time on the road. Unless we find people that we trust to rep the cattle. I can't, can't sit at a sale barn all day, nor can y'all. We can't go to buy, paying anybody to rep cattle. That's our job. Yep. I think the pro, too, is also the con. The bad part would be if you can't sell the cattle. If we can't sell the cattle, we're expanding anyways, we'll keep the cattle. So we'll yep. buy the kind of cattle we want. You can buy them, can't find a buyer, we'll be in the same boat we in now. This is the great idea. Instead of buying yearlings and putting a risk out this year, focus more on our cattle trading. Three people, that's already a bigger operation. We got the connections, we mm -hmm. got the know-how, we got the grit. Taking this money we made at Mr. Brett's deal and started flipping more cattle with it. I agree with you. And... I think that's a good idea. I think we should have been doing that a long time ago. We start trying to trade more cattle. Do it all through the company. That work. Sounds good, good. buddy. All right, y'all come up with any other idea. Let me know. All right, man. See ya. Hey, I got a good idea. That's enough, here. Coming up. Look at there, Matthew. I bet that's a cattle drive. That's yep, it, buddy. That's a cattle drive we yep. were on. There's Booger. Look at there. There oh. I am. <laughs> Look, Matthew, that's Booger. Run in there and see Nana Pam. She says she's got a surprise for us. A real surprise? Yes, sir. All for us. 
Mom called and says she wanted us to come over to her house tonight. She had a surprise for us. So me and Jacqueline and Matthew decided to ride over. Really don't know what it is, but probably could be fun. I got a surprise for y'all. You know, the other night when we were going through Grandma's boxes of the old stuff and those old movies that we found, I looked at them and there was a bunch of clips of Papa Cow hunting on them. Oh, no uh, way. Yeah, and I got them put on DVD and that's a surprise tonight for y'all. We're gonna watch them. Uh-uh. Surprise! Who recorded Papa Cow hunting? Who do you think? Your I did. <laughs> Are you serious? What year is this? Let's see. About 89. You were little in the videos. Riding horses is so cool. I can't wait for you to see them. I'm gonna load it up, but before that, I need you to go speak to Grandma. All right. She's not up to coming out tonight, so. Man, I hate she's gonna miss this. I know. I, know. I, I hate that she's gonna miss it. I hate she's gonna, miss, she's gonna miss this. We're not gonna miss it, baby, I promise. <laughs> hey, Grandma, Mama said you wanted to talk to us. I wanted to let you know I can't stay. We just wanted you to come out and hang out with the family. I intended to, but I just can't, honey. You too tired? Well, I'm hurting. Yeah. <laughs> My back hurts all the time, and I have a doctor's appointment. Yeah. And uh, I uh, got to get a little rest. Right. I ain't no big deal. I understand. I'm glad I got to see you for a few minutes. I'm glad I got to see y'all, too. I hope you feel better. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> I will. I'll feel better just from getting that hug. Oh. <laughs> you know, Grandma's in on the surprise, so this has got to be a good one. I just hate she's not feeling well. She's not going to be able to make it. Kind of cool out here tonight. Can somebody hit play? Look at there, Matthew. I bet that's a cattle drive. That's yep, it, buddy. That's a cattle drive we were yep. on. There's Papa Neil right there on that dark horse. Now, see, y'all had to drive those all the way down the grade. Yeah, there's Booger. Look at there. There oh. I am. <laughs> Look, Matthew, that's Booger. Oh, there's Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Look how little I am. <laughs> Look how little he is. Did you know Papa Gary used to work cows like that, too? That's Papa Neil, Papa Gary, and me. That's three generations right there working cows. Heck, I'm the same age as Matthew right there. Yep. Yeah. I thought it'd be awesome to put this together so Matthew could see the way you used to work the cows, and now he's growing up, and we're going to teach him how to work the cows just like that. You know, it's been years now since I talked to my granddaddy. But seeing him up there riding that horse and doing his thing, it really don't make me as sad to seeing this. It makes me proud. I wish I could go back right now and get on a horse at the age I'm at now and ride with my granddaddy and my daddy, and I could have been there helping them that day. That would mean the world to me. Ooh, that horse is bucking. Mom, this is one of the coolest things ever. I can't believe we got real footage of Papa riding and Daddy so long ago, you know? You're really lucky to have this. Yeah, I know it. Look at there, there there's Papa Gary. Yeah, I wish I could get in them jeans again. <laughs> <laughs>